A video of people collecting marine life washed up on Changi Beach earlier this week has gone viral. The beach had been crowded due to the Chinese New Year public holidays. Now, the video posted by science page Just Keep Thinking shows people digging up marine life with tongs, buckets and shovels. The post says families were collecting all sorts of animals, including sea urchins. It isn't the first time that such behavior has been spotted. People were also seen doing the same back in June. For more, we're joined by Ryan Lee, who heads up the National Biodiversity Center at N Parks. Ryan, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, the video describes families digging up sea urchins. What has N Parks found out? Well, um, we are aware that there was a large number of visitors at the intertidal areas, particularly in Changi Beach over the Lunar New Year holidays, partly because the new moon low tide for February this month coincided with the public holidays and took place during daylight hours in the late evening. So people could actually go out to the intertidal area. For the most part, um, we believe that the visitors to the intertidal areas came in small groups, some as families to explore. While many visitors were contented to just observe and take photos of the marine or organisms, uh, it was rather unfortunate that there were some who were reported to have tried to remove the marine animals from their natural habitats, maybe for consumption or maybe to keep as pets. We don't know. But what we do know is that excessive removal will actually affect the population of the marine organisms and threaten the delicate balance of the intertidal ecosystem. We are, however, heartened to know that many visitors, when informed of the impact of their actions, willingly return the animals back to where they were found. So we were quite happy about that. Ryan, tell us more about the kinds of organisms that typically would surface during um, an intertidal event such as this one. Uh, what can people expect to see and, and why should they not you know, uh, react adversely and, and collect these animals? Okay, well, uh, you could see a right, wide range of marine biodiversity uh, ranging from sea stars to sea anemones, sea urchins, uh, sea cucumber, and if you're lucky, even uh, seahorses. Now, the intertidal habitats are delicate and fragile. So if you are visiting these areas, we urge you to do so responsibly and refrain from touching, collecting, or trampling on any wildlife. While a few of these marine animals could tolerate gentle touch, some are very sensitive to tactile disturbances, especially the soft-bodied animals. Uh, one such example is the sea cucumber which will actually, uh, what we call, eviscerate when being disturbed. This means that they will spit out their internal organs, which they do as a defense mechanism to scare off potential predators. And it will take them about six weeks to regenerate. So uh, putting them through that very stressful ordeal uh, is, not, is not good. Also, the sunscreen and insect repellent that we use may be transferred onto the marine creatures upon contact. And these products do contain chemicals and may be harmful to the marine life. But most importantly, many of these marine animals uh, have sharp and piercing body armor, such as the razor clams and sea urchins. Um, and others have venomous spines and sting cells that can inflict severe pain, such as the fireworms. So people who are unfamiliar with the different species of marine animals may therefore endanger their own safety when they come into physical contact with stinging or venomous marine life. Therefore, we strongly advise the public to wear covered shoes when visiting the intertidal zone, and please avoid touching the marine animals. Ryan, you mentioned earlier how delicate and fragile these marine animals are. Can you explain to us uh, what they play and the role that they play in the larger ecosystem in the area? Okay, so these marine animals reside within the intertidal zone. They form part of the flora and fauna uh, that support the very uh, special ecosystem that only shows itself maybe once a month for a very short period of time. So uh, actually, by and large, uh, the impact could be minimum if visitors follow instructions and best practice guidelines. Um, but if you 
don't know how to handle them and you uh, dig into the sand, you overturn the rocks without putting them back, you are putting not only the marine animals um, under stress, but you're also putting your own safety at risk. Ryan, thanks very much for speaking with us uh, this evening and sharing the do's and don'ts of intertidal events. Ryan Lee there, Group Director from National Biodiversity Centre at Enparks.